Good morning. I have some thoughts today. So I'm still on Facebook because I'm old, but apparently years ago, I guess I became friends with my ex-wife's ex-boss. I don't really see him on there much. Occasionally I see a post about Jesus on there. It's fine, whatever, do your thing. Anyway, he shared a post that said, non-binary is a made up word. Protect your children. The devil's coming for them or some bullshit like that. And I just responded with, all words are made up words. Cause it's true, man, woman, spoon, book, cat, all made up words. Non-binary came into the common usage in the 1940s, given it wasn't specifically for gender, but like, I didn't unfriend him. I don't like to unfriend people that I disagree with because I think you can have some really interesting discourse with people that you disagree with. You learn something, they learn something, we all learn together. Just because we disagree on some things doesn't mean that we are enemies. Now, given this is a big thing that I wanna just fucking choke him out for, but man, we're all human beings just trying to communicate with each other. Making enemies is the easy way out. I don't know. I'm just a big fan of like fucking communicating with the people that you disagree with. I get to know their arguments better, which fortifies my arguments better. I don't get all of my news sources from things that feed my own perspective. That doesn't help. You know what helps? Watching Fox News as much as I fucking hate it. As much as I want to throw things at the screen while I'm watching it, I have gained better perspective into my conversations with people who watch it. I understand why people unfriend or unfollow. I understand wanting to make sure that the sphere, the bubble that you're in is a safe place. I don't know if it's a Capricorn in me, but I'm all about, ooh, conversation. Let me prove how you're wrong and how I'm right. And the best way to do that is to understand their perspective. Use their own knowledge to help, help get them on our side. We're all people. There's this, there's, okay, okay. All right, I figured out what I want this video to be about. It took me a minute. I'm standing, I'm amped, I'm pumped. Let's go. A couple years ago, I read an article about Daryl Davis. He's an African-American blues musician. At one of his gigs, he uh, was playing and there was this guy who was just kind of looking at him funny. At the end of the show, this guy in the audience came up to him and said, I didn't know a black man could play as well as Jerry Lee Lewis. And instead of going like, the fuck? He sat down and had a beer with him. They talked about all different kinds of things, sports, just casual shit that they had in common. Eventually it came out that the, the guy in the audience was with the clan. And Daryl Vary could have easily gone, ooh, no, <laughs> fuck off. But no, they kept talking. And eventually the gentleman that he was talking to ended up giving him like information on people in the clan. So to keep this short and simple, because I've already been going on for way too long, Daryl went on to not only become friends with this guy, but to convince him, not even convince him, this guy chose to leave the clan because he saw that fucking Daryl is a human being. Daryl went on to like interview a bunch of different clans people for a book. And through that, just like common ground fucking conversations, became friends with them. And they left the clan. I think on his own, he collected about 20 to 40 clans robes. People who went, I fucked up, here's my robe. That is the shit. He was quoted as saying something along the lines of, and I'm paraphrasing, the greatest weapon we have against bigotry, you know, racism, misogyny, homophobia, all that shit, is the least expensive weapon, communication. That's how you change minds. That's how you fix shit. You talk to people, meet them on common ground because people who you disagree with, you probably have way more in common than you know, than you want to admit. Sorry, I'm very passionate about this. I hate when people just hate people for the sake of hating people. It doesn't help. I'm pacing. Anyway, through his work and through his book, over 200 people left the clan. Now I know the clan has got way too many people in it. It's just a drop in the bucket, but that is such a drop. And that is a beautiful drop and it is a drop done well. Because yeah, I could hate you because you're conservative. You can hate me because I'm liberal. There are so many reasons why we can just keep fighting, but you know what that doesn't solve? Fucking anything. Fact is this guy who posted this fucking meme about non-binary being a word, we have a lot in common. I considered him my friend for a long time. And if I can sit him down and have a conversation with him about why this is inaccurate without making him feel like he is a piece of shit, he may have learned something. And I've done this with a lot of people. I have had conversations with people about gun control, had conversations with people about global warming. And as long as I don't come at them like, why are you so fucking stupid? As long as I come at them with, hey, remember how we're buddies? Here's all the reasons that we're buddies and why I value your opinion and why you value mine. Let's learn some shit together. And we learn some shit together 
and they came out better for it. And you know what? I came out educated on some things too, because I don't have a problem being wrong. That's where it gets the hardest is acknowledging that there are going to be moments where you're wrong. Be okay with being wrong. Talk to people you disagree with from a place of love and respect and friendship. If we could all just not fucking want to fight people of opposing ideologies, we might actually be able to fix shit, which would be dope. I should run for president. This is the story of how a Facebook meme has made me now want to become president. I love your face. Have a beautiful day.